Ladies and gentlemen, I recently released a Lightsmith Holy Pouting Guide on my channel and I got a lot of people asking me the following question. Should I be playing actually that with Venging Crusader or should I stick with Herald of the Sun? A very good question indeed, so let's answer it in this short video. The first thing that I'm going to say is that you can push keys on both specs without any problem. You can easily make both of them to work in even pugs up to like 13s, 14s and probably the best advice from that perspective is play whatever feels more comfortable to you. You make a better use out of it and you're gonna play it better. However, I must say that the Lightsmith Hero Talent spec is the more difficult one to play between the two. Herald of the Sun has a pretty smooth gameplay with the same rotation going on basically at all times and you get a lot of extra healing but it's passively from the abilities that you're already using as your dawn lights are applied by your holy spells, your word of glory is replaced by eternal flame and you get a small combo every time you cast your holy prism you get free divine purposes. When we add on top of that the more powerful holy shocks and the amazing fantasy that the class has with the sun's avatar, Herald of the Sun is the more pleasant and smoother gameplay that I would totally recommend for people who are just starting to play Holy Paladin or are looking for a more convenient gameplay style when they start pushing a little bit into the higher keys. At the same time Lightsmith overcomplicates the spec a little bit because first you have to micromanage the Holy Armament spells that you get from the hero talents and you're playing Avenging Crusader which means that every time your wings are up your gameplay rotation changes and you have to learn how to rely and do all of your healing through your melee damaging abilities instead of your holy shock and words of glories. Now I'm not saying that it's bad, you can actually do a lot of healing with Avenging Crusader and the holy armaments are extremely powerful if you use them correctly, both for healing and damage, but as I said it's definitely more complicated than Herald because you have more buttons to push and more things to coordinate. So if we're talking about gameplay and difficulty, Herald of the Sun is definitely the winner here, but there is one more thing that we need to take into account. Lightsmith is definitely the more difficult spec to play, but it is my personal choice when I'm bugging. You have to push a little bit more buttons, but then you have the holy armaments which you can use to fix mistakes that people make, especially the holy buark shield which also helps you to survive some of the mechanics much more easily and ends up doing a lot of healing at the end of the run. The other huge advantage for Lightsmith Paladin is the Avenging Crusader's Wings cooldown which is reduced down to one minute. That means that you can use it much more often and that's not counting the awakening stacks and I'm personally a huge fan of having short cooldowns in Mythic Plus bugs because let's face it, mistakes there happen, sometimes you have to pop a cooldown to salvage the situation and then the boss comes and if you don't have your cooldowns you're going to wipe. So the ability to pop up my wings that much more often in random groups is amazing with the Lightsmith Paladin and between that, Divine Toe, the Holy Armaments and even Beacon of Virtue it feels like I always have the answer if something wrong happens in the runs. Not to mention that the Lay on Hands cooldown is extremely short with Lightsmith Paladin which is basically another free out of jail card that you're getting much more often. Now can you make Herald of the Sun work in pugs? Definitely yes. And I will say that I have much better and easier time playing Herald of the Sun in pugs that are better and the worse that your group is the better Lightsmith starts to feel in those situations and unfortunately with pugs you never know what you're going to get. So at the end of the day, when it comes to throughput, it doesn't matter, you can make both of them work unless you're pushing world first keys. And if you're looking for more easier gameplay, pick Herald. If you're looking for something that's more resilient to playing in pugs, choose Lightsmith. And if one of them feels better and it's closer to your gameplay style, just stick with it. If you end up choosing up Lightsmith, make sure to check up my guide in the description of this video. I'll see you in the next one. Now get out of here.